Dear students, please note down. The PDF file of all these notes have been uploaded in the description of video lecture. Please download your notes. In today's lecture, we will discuss digestive system of red. Dear students, please note down. Today we will start a new chapter that is red, retus, retus. And in this chapter, we will discuss first of all digestive system of red. Very important topic for final exam. Digestive system of red, ratus, ratus. It consists of two parts: alimentary canal and digestive glands. The alimentary canal in case of red. that is complete and it consists of following parts first part of alimentary canal that is mouth mouth it is a transverse slit like aperture and that aperture is guarded by a pair of lips upper and lower lips both lips are movable in upper lip a median cleft is there and that median vertical cleft which is present in upper lip it is called hare lip note down for short type questions hare lip in upper lip a median vertical cleft cavity is there that is named hare lip second part of this alimentary canal that is vestibule the vestibule it is a narrow space present between lips and jaws and that vestibule or that space is surrounded by cheeks externally and gums internally no down first point that is hare lip upper lip having a median vertical cleft that is named hare lip second important question that is vestibule and that vestibule is a narrow space which is present between lips and jaws and this vestibule is bounded externally by cheeks and internally by gums jaws third part next part of alimentary canal that is mouth oral cavity or buccal cavity not down first part is mouth second part is vestibule third part is oral cavity or buccal cavity that buccal cavity lies between jaws and pharynx and in this oral cavity buccal cavity following structures are present the roof of buccal or oral cavity that is palate no down the palate and that palate having transverse linings the transverse rugi and the buccal cavity its floor consists of a muscular movable tongue and that tongue consists of three types of papilla taste buds are present on taste papilla circumvallate papilla fungiform papilla and filiform papilla no down in case of red the oral cavity buccal cavity its roof is palate the floor consists of a tongue and the tongue possesses three types of papilla all competitive exam students note down all important points three types of papilla having taste buds one circum valet papilla which is present at the base of tongue all over the surface of tongue fungi form and fili form papilla are present their number numerous both the jaws teeth are present in both jaws having teeth in case of red teeth are thick or dot not down very important point for all competitive exams thick thick or dot it means a tooth is embedded in a bony socket this is the spongy bone in that the tooth that gets inserted that kind of teeth thick or not heterodont the all teeth are not alike not similar these are different types of teeth so these are 
heterodont and diphyodont it means in case of rat teeth develops in two sets first set primary set that is deciduous teeth these are temporary set it means the primary the milk set the first set of teeth milk set these are replaced by permanent set the arrangement of teeth in both jaws is named dentition and their dental formula no down no down the dental formula is 1100033 total teeth 60 it means in upper jaw one incisor in one side and one incisor in other side two incisors three molars in one side and three molars in other side it means six molars in upper jaw similarly in lower jaw two incisors and six molars total 16 number now down in case of rat the dental formula is 1003 1003 it means the incisors and molars teeth are present no canines no premolars in rat both canines and premolars are absent this is the dental for dental formula of rat teeth next part is pharynx first part mouth then vestibule ora buccal cavity the next part is in pharynx pharynx in neck region and that pharynx is divided into three parts nasopharynx that nasopharynx receives a pair of internal areas the second part the median part that is oropharynx which receives buccal cavity oral cavity and the posterior part of pharynx that is laryngopharynx then the next part is esophagus it is food pipe and this esophagus food pipe it opens in this widest part of alimentary canal that is stomach this stomach gaster having four parts all parts very important for competitive exams fundus this upper part is fundus having gases this part which lies near heart it is cardiac stomach and the main part of this stomach it is body and this posterior part is pyloric stomach it means in case of rat the stomach having four parts upper part having gases fundus the part which lies near heart that is cardiac stomach and its main part that is body and its posterior part that is pyloric stomach then small intestine in case of rat small intestine it is divided into three parts its upper this part is duodenum the middle part is jejunum and the last coiled tubular structure that is ileum the last part of the alimentary canal that is large intestine this large intestine having three parts cecum the medial part the median part is colon and the last part is rectum this cecum this small sac like structure it its last terminal tubular part is vermiform appendix both vermiform appendix and cecum well developed here in case of rat this colon it is divided into three parts this one is ascending colon then transverse colon and this part is descending colon and the terminal part of the large intestine that is rectum which stores fecal matter and it opens by anus it means in case of alimentary canal of rat following parts are involved first are, first part is mouth then vestibule oro buccal cavity 
in nacreation pharynx the food pipe that is esophagus this widest part is stomach this longest part of the alimentary canal it is small intestine having three parts duodenum jejunum ileum and the large in intestine which is further divided into three parts cecum colon rectum which opens by anus means complete alimentary canal and the digestive glands which associate with this system salivary glands in case of rat three pairs of salivary glands a pair of parotid glands a pair of submaxillary glands and a pair of glands which lie below the tongue sublingual glands all three pairs of salivary glands secret saliva and that saliva contains salivary amylase or tylen enzyme for the digestion of starch carbohydrates second type of digestive gland this is the large multi lobed digestive gland it is liver in case of rat not down competition students the liver having four lobes this one is right lateral lobe this is left lateral lobe this medial lobe having two parts and this small part it is caudate part in case of rat the liver having four lobes right lateral lobe left lateral lobe medial lobe having two parts and this very small last part that is caudate lobe the liver secretes bile and the bile is carried by the bile duct which opens in the duodenum the third digestive gland in case of digestive system of rat this one is pancreas it is a large irregular it is tubular branch structure and that lies below the pancreas and stomach sorry it lies below the duodenum and stomach and this pancreas it is yellowish heterocrine gland and that heterocrine gland having two parts one is exocrine and that exocrine gland that exocrine part of this pancreas produces pancreatic juice and the second part which is the which is endocrine that endocrine part it is islets of langerhans which produce hormones it means the pancreas having both parts exocrine and endocrine so it is heterocrine it produces both digestive juice as well as pancreatic hormones the next digestive gland that is gastric gland and the gastric glands are present in the lining of in the wall of stomach which secrete gastric juice in gastric juice hcl as well as pro enzymes for the digestion of proteins in the wall in the lining of mucous membrane of small intestine another types of digestive glands these are intestinal glands and all these intestinal glands which are present in the lining of small intestine secrete intestinal juice or sacus entricus both pancreatic juice as well as small intestinal sacus entricus having all types of all categories of enzymes for the digestion of proteins carbohydrates and lipids the students this small intestine it is main seat of digestion and absorption of food in this stomach mechanical and chemical breakdown of food takes place this is all about digestive system of rat rattus rattus this entire system which is divided into two parts alimentary canal and alimentary canal 
associates with several types of digestive glands salivary glands liver the pancreas in the stomach wall the gastric glands and in the wall in the mucous membrane of small intestine intestinal glands these are involved in the digestion of food this is all about digestive system of rat in tomorrow's lecture we will discuss respiratory system of rat